Hey guys, Sophia here with Turquoise Toffee at WordPress.com and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2022 Olympia figure results. Another victory for Sydney, but man, what an awesome top five. It's so exciting to watch. Now, in terms of next year's Olympia, I put a question mark because I'm not certain the rules will be the same, but I'm presuming they are. So, winner is qualified for life, second and third will be qualified for next year's Olympia, and then fourth and fifth place receive points, and they receive a lot of points. So before we get into the scorecard, I just have to say thank you all so much for your comments on the prediction video. It was so cool to see who you guys thought would win. I think we did pretty great. We got a lot of um, the, the top three, top 10. The biggest surprise though was Josie. Holy smokes. Okay, Sydney in first, Jessica in second, Lola in third, Josie in fourth, and Natalia in fifth. A clear win for Sydney. Lola and Jessica were a little closer in the points, but holy smokes, what an incredible top five. So beginning with Natalia, man, she looked beautiful. First of all, the suit with the earrings and the red and her lipstick, like the colors were so beautifully coordinated. I think she looked absolutely beautiful. Her conditioning was crazy. Like those adductors in the back pose, you could see those a mile away. It was absolutely spectacular. I also thought her quads looked amazing. Great definition, but also nice shape. Um, in the, From the side, I loved this line coming down, really showing off the, the side of her quad. She really had a lovely lower body. I think her glutes look really beautiful, a nice shape, although there is a little bit of leanness that's maybe coming... Um, you know, you notice these striations up here. So definitely you want a, a nice smooth glute. Um, tiny waist, my goodness, and beautiful back. But when I compare her to the girls in the lineup, I do think Natalia could not only have more fullness in her back, but she could even have larger lats. Like the spread of her, the, the width could be even more. The other thing that I noticed is that she has beautiful delts from the front. I think you get a lot of height. You have a beautiful curve. The round shape is really easy to see. But for some reason, when she's in the back pose, it's a lot more of a straightness. I would love to see that height be more prominent in this back pose. Um, overall, I think she did absolutely amazing. I know it's not as good as she's done in the past, but it was still a beautiful fifth place. Um, just a little bit more fullness, maybe a tiny bit less conditioning just to have a bit more of that 3D quality in her back, a little bit more smoothness in the glutes, but still fantastic. Um, I thought she did really well overall. Next is Josie in fourth place. Wow. I was so surprised. I shouldn't be surprised because she's amazing, but I was not expecting her to do this well. And man, did she ever blow me away. First of all, when she walks on stage, she puts her hands on her hips and her feet are wide and she has the most insane X shape. Just gorgeous. Um, I felt like she has a really beautiful amount of size. Her delts are crazy good. Like I was just talking about Natalia. That's what I mean. Lots of height, even in the back pose, both of the delts, just so round all the way on the sides, on the top, in the front, in the back, just absolutely gorgeous delts. I thought she had really nice lats as well. She has a lot of mass, a lot of size. So you, you really take notice of her upper body. But what's great is she has a lower body to match. I thought her balance was spectacular. That X shape was really easy to see. And I think she looked beautiful. The blue eyeshadow with the blue suit, again, just gorgeously coordinated. She looked really fantastic. Perhaps a tiny bit more conditioning though. When I compare her in the lineup to the other girls, you do see a little bit more ab definition and even the lines in her legs could have come a little bit higher into her hips, a little bit more of a really crisp, easy to see line in the back here where her tie-ins are. I would have loved to see that. I think that's really the only thing she could have improved on. I think she was spectacular. 
All right, next in third place was Lola, and oh, did she ever look incredible. She's cut the tiniest little waist, and what a V-taper. Beautiful delts, great lat spread, gorgeous balance. I think she's got really good size in her quads to match well with the size in her upper body. Um, her definition, the conditioning, was fantastic. I love that the detail in her legs started at the knee and go all the way up to the strap of her suit. Looked so good. From behind, I think she had really nice detail to her glute ham tie-ins, a little bit of detail coming through on her hamstrings, and my gosh, does this girl ever have incredible calves. So round, full, just beautiful. Nobody has calves like Lola. Absolutely astonishing. I do think Lola, just like we talked about with Natalia, could have a little bit more height from the back pose when she's um, facing the back. You know, it's almost a flatness, even though she has so much size and roundness in the front pose. In terms of posing, my goodness, I just find her mesmerizing. The way she moves, the poses she chooses to do, very unique, but extremely flattering to her shape. I think her walk makes her legs look incredible. You notice all of those muscles in her quads really activated with each step that she takes. Um, I just think she's absolutely gorgeous. I I think you could argue she had the best legs. She's got beautiful size and great conditioning. And I think this was an absolutely spectacular third place. I think a little bit more work on those delts in the back pose and, you know, she could be unstoppable. All right, Jessica in second place. Oh man, when she came on stage, I actually gasped. Like I thought she was spectacular. She has such a crazy shape. She's got this long torso, so you really notice how the lats come in. She's got a really unique V-taper, beautiful definition in her abs, lovely sweep, but also nice detail, right? The conditioning is there, so you've got the teardrop, you've got um, detail of the quads coming all the way up to the hip bone, And then her shoulders look spectacular and from every angle. She's got height. She's got roundness. She's got fullness. She's posing beautifully so you see how symmetrical they are. They're perfectly level. And from behind, they're really high. So it just makes such a beautiful top to the V-taper right? And then it goes into this tiny waist. And look at how smooth and beautifully full her glutes are. She's got all this leanness. Her waist is so tiny. Her abs are so visible. And yet she still has this round, full, gorgeous shape to her glutes. I think she looks spectacular. Fantastic quad sweep. Just beautiful. I wouldn't mind a little more size to the calves, you know. (laughs) Right after we're looking at Lola's amazing calves, I think anybody could use more size. But really, I thought Jessica looks great. She's got a beautiful X frame. And, you know, she's just spectacular. Um... I did think that maybe she could have a little bit more size to the sweep of her quads when she's facing the side like this compared to our first place winner. But that's honestly the only thing I could think of because I think she's really quite spectacular. Um, Actually, you know what? One more thing. Maybe she could have a little bit more sharpness in the tie-ins just to really show off that beautiful definition, right? We don't quite have the same degree of definition to the adductors like we are in our first place winner. So I'll let you guys see for yourselves when we when I show you the lineup and feel free to comment in the comment section. But overall, I think she was just spectacular. All right, the queen, <laughs> the unbeatable Sydney, first place once again. And she's got everything that we've been talking about already. She's got these amazing delts that are super round, super high, perfectly level, nice symmetry. From behind, you still see this beautiful peak. She's got full lats that really come in and taper into the tiniest waist on the whole stage. 
Absolutely phenomenal V-taper. Her glutes are spectacular, just like we were talking about with Jessica, really full, really round, but also really smooth. So even though in the side she's got this crazy definition, you can see hamstring detail, you've got this groove in the glute, from behind she looks full, she looks round, just beautiful proportions as well. So an absolutely spectacular level of conditioning. And yet you still have a sharpness in the tie-ins. You've got a bit of detail coming through in the adductors. Like she just gets everything right. It's really spectacular. Her posing is beautiful. Everybody knows how gorgeous Sydney moves. She's very slow, very deliberate. And when she gets into the pose and flexes, it's just eye-catching. I thought she had a beautiful balance in that X frame. So you've got a nice amount of size to the quads that match really well to the size of her lats. And uh, this side pose, man, what a curve. Like she is pure, beautiful curve, right? Absolutely gorgeous. Tiny waist, beautiful lats, just so much width in the top. And what a beautiful... um, It it really just comes into such a point. Her waist is so small. So I I think she was spectacular. And when you compare her in the lineup, she does really stand out. Okay, so these pictures are really zoomed out, but I wanted you to see for now just how everybody really looked on stage side by side. You cannot help but see Sydney. Her waist is so small. The V taper is so pronounced. I think the quad definition in everybody is pretty spectacular in, in these photos. Um, but man, Sydney's waist is just unreal. But everybody, of course, everybody looked beautiful. Look at Natalia's adductors from behind. Like, come on. Okay, so here's everybody side by side. I added a picture of Natalia. The, I think everybody looked really good from the front. And honestly, to me, uh, the back pose is more telling of the placings than the front pose. I think Josie, you can see, could have had more definition in her legs. She's got beautiful size, but just lacking some of that detail up into her hips. And certainly she could have a little bit more ab. I think you cannot help but notice how small Sydney's waist is, how large the V taper is. Um, I think both Jessica and Lola have really nice sweeps to their quads, very nice proportions. And even Natalia, I think, has beautiful definition. Her abs look fantastic. Now from behind, this is where you really see it. Look at Sydney's shoulders. They're high, they're round. You see them so clearly. Um, I think Josie beside her has some beautiful shoulders as well. She's a little bit lacking that symmetry in this particular photograph, but it's just a photo. Um, You can see Lola and Natalia don't quite have that same height. Next, I look at the V tapers and nobody's lats come into such a point as Sydney's. That triangular shape is undeniable. Everybody has small waists, don't get me wrong, but Sydney really stands out. Um, This is where I feel like you can see Natalia could have a little bit more of that mass, that 3D quality, particularly in this part of her back. You know, you you look at Lola beside her and there's a lot more of that popping, those bulging, pumped up muscles than we're seeing with Natalia. The glutes, all of the glutes are beautiful. Everybody, you know, it's cool to have different shapes and be a unique individual, but I feel like Sydney really has something special because of how chiseled the definition is on the bottom, but how round and smooth they still are on the higher part of the glute. Then you've got this definition to the adductors. You've got so much mass and size to her legs that her there's no space whatsoever. I feel like Lola could probably put her feet closer together so that she eliminates that littlest bit of a space. Um, Lola, though, come on, those calves, incredible. So anyway, that's what I'm seeing. I think everybody looked amazing. It's a really exceptional top five, but Sydney still is the standard and you can see why. She's got amazing conditioning, great detail, beautiful shapes, full muscles, great balance, beautiful posing, and she's just spectacular. 
Okay, so in terms of the Olympia, again, question mark, because I'm not certain the rules are the same, but probably Sydney's qualified for life, Jessica and Lola will be qualified, then Josie will have 12, and Natalia 11. So I've got one more recap still coming your way. Make sure you subscribe. Give me a like if you like this video. Comment below your thoughts and come find me. I'm at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.